little trot up to Dingator. It's a bit of tracks up to Dinger. It's a bit chilly in the wind, but it's not so bad. It's not too bad. We're heading up to there. But via that valley, if we can find a path. A good view of yes tall along the ridge to high willows. There's dig at all. Lint's tall down in the in the valley. Directly behind. Fertile in a distance. On a line to get to the top of the ring road without going into that valley down there. So I got a bear in, it's line of sight to Steeperton. We'll see how the ground goes. 1600 meters. This is the first thing we contend with. It's really wet. See how it goes. Grass is quite short, but you still won't make much speedy progress, especially if it's dark. Yeah, you can't really run it, even in the daytime. It's, uh, it's hard, if it's dark, you'll be walking and as soon as you drop down here you lose, you lose your line but then you wouldn't see it necessarily at night time but we've got a compass, that'll be fine see how it goes in the bottom of the valley, looks like some grazing areas so we might run a bit there yeah, so here's a grazing area you can run a bit only for two or three hundred meters. It's out the window. So this isn't so bad. Coming up here in the summer, this grass is much taller. So uh, for now, it's not a bad line. Absolutely grass again but again is there are goat trails or sheep trails that one can follow and then you get to the ring road like you see with dinger tours right there we come that way uh, the alternative is to go there and then there's a track you come down and you run up here there goes Wendy I can't keep up today and the sun is coming out we'll turn off this track shortly and head up to West Mill Tor which is just up there Last part, coming into Rotor, just around the corner, it's our finish for today.